Okay, very short, real quick. Uh, another method of penetrating the IBC totes without using uniseals. Uniseals are expensive. Sometimes they're hard to find. You have to get a mail order, pay shipping, etc., etc. Uh, so I try to find ways around it. Everybody should know by now how I use the one-inch male and female fittings with the number 18 O-ring to make my one-inch penetrations. And I like to use the one-inch electrical conduit because the gray PVC is uh, still Schedule 40 if you need pressurized, but it's also UV resistant, unlike the white PVC, which is not UV resistant. But the gray PVC, you don't have to paint. It's already UV resistant. It stands up a lot longer under sun than the white does. Okay, back to the penetration. All right, what I have here is a two and three eighths hole. Uh, I cut it using the, my Dremel tool with a circle cutter. Uh, you can get a hole saw, uh, whatever method you use for making a fairly clean, nice hole. Okay. Two inch male fitting for the two inch PVC. Two inch female for two inch PVC. And this nice, soft, flexible rubber washer that fits just just a little bit snugly over the threads. It fits a little snug, but it flattens out just fine. Flush valve seal, available in the plumbing department. Uh, not gonna show the manufacturer of this particular brand, but uh, it's just your standard flush valve seal. seal I'm sorry. Uh, that's all you need and if you need three inch and they make three inch flush valve seals or other three inch seals for use in toilets and shower drains and uh, sink drains stuff like that you can find a three inch flat washer uh, and they do make the three inch PVC connections so anyway all you do put the washer over the male fitting I pull mine all the way down so that it actually turns back towards the tip of the threads. That way when I put it in and tighten it down, it flattens out instead of kinking against any of the threads or anything. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, I put it on so that it's like that. Uh, that way, like I said, when you put it in, the washer flattens down, gets compressed, does its job very well. So you just stick it through I always put this on the male side, stick it through. I put the female on the inside. Doesn't matter if the female's not sealed perfectly because your seal is out here. And that's all it takes. And if you want to see one, what one looks like when it's finished, there's the one inch with the number 18 O-ring. And there is the two inch with the flush valve seal. And that's going to be the overflow for this IBC. And the one I'm doing in the back right now is going to be the solids lift overflow that's going to feed the beds. That's just an overflow going back to the sump in case the water level in the tank gets a little bit too high. And there you go, an alternative to uniseals. Uh, very easy, very inexpensive. These fittings are about a dollar a piece at Lowe's or Home Depot. This washer was a dollar seventy-eight at Lowe's. So for three seventy-eight plus tax, uh, an alternative to a uniseal that works just great.